Hi, this is Peter Landsberg from Amsterdam. I've been invited to discuss with you um, the Fourier outcome study in context of familial hypercholesterolemia. I'm not going to discuss extensively the uh, results of the trial. I think they have been already presented uh, in presentations or in the publications, of course, where you can read in detail um, all the effects that PCS can and antibodies had on outcome parameters and safety parameters. But I would like to highlight the importance of this study for FH patients. As we know, FH patients have a very high risk of developing cardiovascular risk, and that risk is actually uh, associated with the extreme LDL levels that are found in families with FH. F with the PCSK9 antibodies, we now have, for the first time, uh, a compound that, especially when combined with the already established treatment modalities, like statins, ezetimibe, or bile acid sequestrant, uh, we are now able to reduce LDL cholesterol by 80-85%. Now, for FH patients that have LDL levels more than 250 or 350, uh, this would allow them to reach guideline dictated targets, say primary prevention less than 100 and secondary prevention less than 70. What is also very comforting to know is that the safety of PCSK9 antibodies was really excellent. There was not a real signal for worrisome side effects. And in the Ebbinghaus trial, a sub-study of the Fourier study, where they focused on neurocognitive side effects, uh, no such things could be found in uh, the two treatment arms. So it looks like that we now have a very efficacious and safe compound to adequately treat these FH patients with very high levels of LDL cholesterol. The final hurdle that needs to be conquered is the health payers. Now in the Netherlands, we don't have really an issue for FH patients um, once they have been established as FH based on their clinical diagnosis or their genetic diagnosis, uh, it is no problem whatsoever to prescribe them the PCSK9 antibodies. And there is no additional cost for FH patients. Now, in many other countries, although the compounds have been registered and should be made available for particular FH patients, I know from many colleagues that health payers are quite reluctant to reimburse these fairly expensive drugs for FH patients. With the Fourier outcome study, we now have evidence-based data that shows not only lipid cosmetics, but also heart clinical endpoint reduction. So it will become probably part of a new guideline development um, based on the lower targets that have been reached and based on the fact that we now have a new compound that not only has efficacy and safety data, but also endpoint data. So hopefully this will also make it easier for FH patients to have access to these life-saving drugs in the near future. Thank you very much.